everybody, Sog Family Media Assistant Sports Editor Christopher Heimerman here, along with my wife Kayla, Hello. and our running partner Dexter here. It's the latest video portion of our blog, The Soul Goal. Uh, we're getting very close to the Wisconsin Marathon. It's coming up on May 5th. We're less than four weeks away. Pretty crazy. Uh, you guys might remember a, a couple months ago when we started all this madness, we did a video on how excited we were about getting our, uh, our running shoes. Um, well, that was about 300, 350 miles ago. And uh, so it was, time to, it was time to upgrade. My brand new Asics Sky Speed shoes. Uh, very comparable to the other pair of shoes that I had. Those were Asics Cumulus Gels. Uh, very similar. So some of the indicators that you'll notice that, uh, that it's time to replace your shoes. And, Oftentimes, it can your body might tell you. Yeah, your body will tell you when it's time. I think your body will start to tell you when it's getting close to be time. Actually, it's probably not even past time to get new shoes. When I mean, you're starting to feel a little more achy, sore after runs, it might be a clue that your shoes are starting to fall apart. Mm -hmm. uh, and not necessarily fall apart in the way that most of us wear out our regular shoes, but you know, break down in the support systems that they're supposed to have for you. You're going to reach this point in your training schedule, whether you're training for a marathon and getting up toward 20, or if you're training for a 10K and you're getting into the four or five mile runs and all that, you know, that sort of thing. You're going to run into pains that you've probably never experienced before. And you're probably thinking, why the heck am I one month from marathon day? I haven't even done the longest run yet and I'm already feeling worse than I was when I was doing half this distance or, you know, two thirds of this distance. You're, you know, you're, I think a lot of it is some way. So there's hypochondria potentially. <laughs> uh, you can have actual injuries or it can be your shoes. Mm -hmm. So really give your shoes a nice hard look. Don't, if you, if you get some unusual pain, just don't go throw your shoes up and get brand new ones. No, you gotta uh, hang on to the old ones to help you transition. Uh, now that we are getting this close, it's like anything else in life, don't wait till the last minute to get prepared. Uh, we're already going to start looking into where we're going to stay. Plan ahead. Make sure that you don't make this more stressful than it already is. Your body's going to go through a lot, so if, if you're mentally relaxed, if you have yourself at ease by doing your homework ahead of time, getting all your ducks in a row, so to speak, you're just going to you're going to enjoy the experience a lot more. I think another point of advice is to start pumping yourself up too. You know that you can do this. I, that's something I struggle with. You know, I didn't think I could run 18 miles last weekend. I was pretty for sure that that was never going to happen. But here we are. Past Tell us what you're up to. Uh, what races do you have on your radar? We're really getting into the thick of race season, so hit us up on Facebook, uh, check out the blog post, leave your comments there, and uh, hopefully things are going as well for you guys as they are for us. It's always nice checking in. It's the Soul Goal. We'll see you soon. See ya.